A sad story this week when two homeless people, a woman and her son, took their lives yesterday near one of Dothan's busiest highways. This tragedy brings light to the homelessness problem and one that needs a light shining on. The Harbor is a nonprofit organization right here in Dothan, which selflessly helps those in need by providing food, clothing, educational resources to people in the community dealing with homelessness. We are joined now with the executive director, Sean Peter. Sean, first, before we get started, I want to say thank you so much for taking the time and joining us this afternoon for News 4 at 5. Thank you, Kinsley. It's my, my pleasure to be here. Of course. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. Mm -hmm. You know, what resources do you all offer at the Harbor? At the Harbor, we offer a variety of resources. We have a food pantry. We have a clothes closet. We have a hygiene closet. We offer hot meals throughout the week. Um, we offer services for folks who are, are struggling with mental health, uh, counseling services, and a lot of referrals. So tell us, how many people do you all serve and assist week to week? We roughly serve about 350 people a week. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is yeah. a very high number. Of yeah. course, if you are seeking any assistance, be sure to contact the harbor. So tell me, you know, how can people contact you all to get back on your feet? Mm -hmm. Do they need to call, email, come to the front door? What do they need to do? Well, they can do any of those. They can go to our website, which is www.theharbordothan.com. They can get a lot, a lot of information on there. Our phone number is 790-4031. They can call us. Uh, stop by 320 North Foster Street is our physical location. Um, and uh, email also. They can email me directly, Sean, at FUMC. Or I'm sorry, Sean, at theharbordothan.com. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah. And you were able to see that contact information right there on your screen. So I know that you all offer a lot of volunteer opportunities and also opportunities for other nonprofits to partner with you all. Yeah. How do people go about that and joining your mission and helping those in the wire grass? Well, I think that's the most important thing that we can be doing right now is finding a way to collaborate together. There's a wonderful organization here in town uh, called SEACH, which is uh, represents uh, Southeast Alabama coalition on homelessness and that is an organization that brings together nonprofits in our community uh, in a collaborative way and there are so many wonderful uh, nonprofits faith-based and not faith-based that are doing wonderful work here in Dothan and as we collaborate together work together uh, we're going to be better off people can volunteer always by coming down to the harbor and letting us know we have lots of wonderful opportunities that they can uh, they can step into and, and help those in need of course, you all are doing wonderful things thank for the you. community. And again, Sean Peters, thank you so much for joining us. So coming up tonight, right here on News 4 at 6, a Spectre Care expert will be joining us to talk about mental health resources available in our area. For now, you can see the National Call and Text Crisis Lifeline right there on your screen. These are open 24-7 along with Spectre Care number also on your screen at the bottom. If you or a loved one is experiencing mental health challenges, please contact one of these resources. Again, Sean Peters, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon.